Hi, my name is Tom. I was sent this next product in exchange for an honest review, and it's exactly what I'm going to do. So I work in an office all day, and what happens during the day is I'm sitting there at my com computer, and I'm looking down, and my neck and shoulders start to ache really really ache after the third or fourth day of being in the office and it hurts and i come home and i'm just feeling tense and tight and that's where this comes in you've probably seen these before they are neck pillows and the way it works i'll show you how i'll actually use it in a second i'll show you you actually lay down and you stretch your neck back on these things now you can get simple ones that are just nothing more than a neck pillow and they're okay they stretch you a little bit but ideally if you really want to work things out if you really want to get your blood circulating, you really want to get moving, you can go ahead and actually get a heated one of these. Now, the problem with heated ones is that you have to be near an electrical outlet. So here I am, I'm actually in one of the rooms that's not used very often, and I don't have any electrical outlets anywhere near me. But that's where this comes in. This is a wireless heated neck stretcher, and this is really, really pretty cool. So you can see it's a typical shape for stretching your neck, and again, you'll kind of put back on it, and you'll stretch it. There are a bunch of little nubs on here. You can see a little bit through the cloth. The cloth itself is actually covered in tiny little magnets or magnetic uh, cloth as well. And then the real feature right here is this power button. Now, the power button is hooked up to a battery. There's a battery inside this thing. So it comes with a USB cord and a USB-C connection. So USB, so you plug this into any kind of a USB charging block uh, that you have. You just plug it in and you plug this other side into the side of the actual button right here. It just kind of just clicks in there like that. And when it's charging, this little thing will blink red. It takes about two and a half hours to charge, but then once it's charged, as mine is right now, it actually will give you about two hours of heat without any sort of a cord. So you can go out in your backyard. If you have a place to lie down back there, you don't have to be near things. You can go into a room that doesn't have any electrical outlets. You don't have to worry about extension cords or being close to a power block. Once it's charged up, you just kind of press it on for a second here. There we go, the, the blue light is on. So now it's working and it will begin to get warm in a moment or two. And then I can really go ahead and stretch my neck. So here I am on my floor. I'm going to go ahead and put the neck pillow here. It is turned on right now. As you can see, the little light's on. I'm just going to flip it around because that's how I'm, I am. Uh, this is, again, a room where I don't have any electrical outlets anywhere near me, actually. Let me kind of line myself up with the camera as well. Okay. Oh, I can already feel it. Ah, oh, that feels good. Uh, I can actually feel my back settling on the floor. Uh, but my neck, there we go. That's good. Uh, and I can feel the heat kind of heating up. It'll take a couple minutes before I can really feel the heat, uh, but it does get nice and warm. It does get nice and toasty, and it does kind of stretch out your neck, and you can kind of feel the tension kind of leaving your, your neck as it sits there, and it kind of works. Uh, now, you don't want to go to sleep with this. You don't want to go too long with this. Uh, I've read anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes at most for heat. That's really up to you, but you don't want to just sit and have yourself kind of fall asleep on something like this. It's not good for your neck for long periods of time, but for short periods of time, it's great for stretching. It's great for kind of massaging. I like to kind of go back and forth a little bit and kind of really kind of get it in there, kind of get out some of those knots in the back of my neck, slowly ramping up. It does not get hot, hot. You won't get burned with this, but again, just for safety's sake, you don't want to leave it against your skin for more than, let's say, 10, 15, 30 minutes, whatever the recommendations are for this. So I've been using this for about a week now, and uh, I actually do notice a difference. I have had a regular neck pillow before, one of these little stretchers before, uh, but I didn't have any heat with it. This actually is the heat itself actually really, really helps, and I can kind of feel those nubs on it, but the heat kind of gets the things flowing it kind of feels good it makes me feel a little more relaxed just kind of thinking about that heat there so yeah it, it really works pretty well and again you just charge it up and then you can take it anywhere you want uh so it's kind of a, of a nice convenience factor uh even if you have a camper or something you can charge it up and then go ahead and just lay down on the floor of the camper and use it like this just to kind of just kind of stretch out your neck after a long day of driving so yeah overall i really recommend this uh i'm gonna pull up here so overall i really do recommend this it is a nice 
There you can see it's still running. Uh, it's a very, very good neck pillow, just in kind of in general in that shape. Uh, it does come in two different sizes. It comes in a larger one and a smaller one. Uh, I am 6'1 and not a small guy, so I have the larger one. Uh, if you're very petite, you may want to think about the smaller one. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it works really well. Again, the heat uh, is going right now. You just kind of press it to turn it off right there. Charges up real nice and easy. Again, they recommend you, they say you get about two hours of heat out of this. I haven't gone that far to actually find out. What I do is I typically will use it for 15, 20 minutes at most. I'll go ahead and then just kind of plug it back in, let it charge. And then I, when it's done charging, again, it flashes red when it's charging. When it's done charging, I just unplug it and I kind of put it on my dresser. And then when I, the next day or the next day after that, whenever I want to use it again, I know that it's charged up and ready to go. So yeah, highly recommend it. If you have neck issues, if you want a little bit of heat, again, it's not going to get hot, but it is going to get warm enough to kind of keep things going with you and kind of make it comfortable. Then yeah, I highly recommend this. This is nice.